All right, so this is a 1998 Chevy 2500 6.5 turbo diesel. This is a video tutorial on removing a rotor. Yeah, it's not that well from yeah, it's not that easy. So, you have your wheel. Imagine you have your wheel. Sorry, this already took this off. It's you take all the eight lugs and then and you have the wheel and then you try wiggle the wheel and it's not coming off just kick it it'll come out and then you move the wheel after that you're gonna have the calipers on the two bolts to hold the calipers for this I already took this off um, the size for it of removing the two bolts that holds the caliper is gonna be a 3 8 inch uh, Allen socket wrench. I don't know, this is this is pretty good. This is uh, I think one fourth inch drive, not a half inch. Um, Alright, so you take the bottom one off first and then you take the top one off and then the caliber is on the rotor, correct? So then this is going to be the best way to remove the caliber is take a screwdriver and then remove and like wedge, like wedge it to move the brake pads around so then you could get some uh, play room to move the uh, caliper around. Okay, so after you take the caliper off, you want to take off the huge center nut right here. It's going to have a washer. Let's see, it's going to be a washer and a nut. And this size nut is going to be a 36 millimeter or yeah 36 millimeters pretty big socket so after that you want to go you want to go behind here let's see this is gonna be there's gonna be four bolts that you want to remove so there's gonna be one there's gonna be oh, forgive me this is gonna be so one two and the other side uh, three and there's, there's on the other side four down here you'll you'll be able to see it and those size is going to be a 15 millimeter um, after you take the big nut and the four bolts behind you want to take the actually before you all do all that you want to take the ABS sensor off it's right here connect it and there should be a wire there's so the ABS sensor, there should be a wire connecting from here all the way down here. This is this is the this is the wire right here. Yeah, I don't know the way they, they design is screw you over. I think it's like I had to pry this out. And then oh, and this right here, I don't know if you guys are gonna have it, but this is gonna be this is like a bracket that holds the wire, and this bolt is gonna be a what's it, 13 millimeter socket. Okay. All right. So another difficult. All right. So this is where it comes to hard part. So you got the rotor. So you got everything: the caliper, the four bolts, the huge nut. This I don't know any other easy way, but you're gonna have to bang the hell out of it. You're gonna have to. Yeah, it's it sucks. Like bang it from this side, turn it. Bang it from this side, turn it. This. I hope it's yours is easy because this one I don't think has been changed for 12 years for my vehicle. But I used, I went to O'Reilly's and I got Penetrating Catalyst PB. And I think it works pretty good. The reason I think it gets stuck, here I'm going to move this cover. Oh yeah, there's going to be a cover on there. This gets stuck is because all of this, I already cleaned this out. It's all, it gets stuck right here. This is the main area. And then you can hammer this in. Just take a hammer and hammer it in. And it should move. And then it shouldn't be a problem. But I think the main area, the reason I have you have a hard time, if you do, is this area. See, so you can see all that rust. Alright, so... Hopefully, you can get some room. If you're exhausted, probably what you are. Uh... Uh, you will hopefully you will have some space where you could put two bolts. So this purpose, I don't know. There should be another video on YouTube how to remove uh, stubborn rotors. 
this is the same idea if you haven't watched the video go watch that and that's where I got the idea you should so you hammered the rotor and then you try to remove it you should try to get some space because between the rotor and the caliber holders whatever you call it um, there's gonna be little or no space it's like the, the way they I don't know they designed this vehicle is horrible uh, so hopefully you get that and then you tie in, I use these uh, YouTube other guys ideas ingenious and then push this and it eventually got this whole rotor out and once you get the rotor out you're gonna have those eight studs in here all of those eight studs you're gonna just take a hammer and bang the hell out of all of them then you just it should just come out I can't do it I'm holding it with one hand but yeah it comes out and that's how you remove a rotor uh, please leave comments rate and subscribe um, what else you're gonna need to know oh yeah you're gonna have to re-grease it re-grease in here you wanna clean this out re-grease it um oh yeah when it goes back if you are this far hopefully you have got the rotors off um so for the installation like for the torque specs so the four bolts behind this 15 millimeter the four bolts right here this is going to be I asked the dealership at the Chevy dealership and they said the mechanic said 133 foot pounds. I just I'll just probably put it at 115. Um it's my from my opinion. I don't know, it's up to you what do you want to do. Uh 115 100 the guy at the Chevy mechanic said 133 foot pounds. Um and for the center nut is going to be I me, I didn't I forgot to ask him but I measure it with the torque wrench and it's going to be like around 210 foot pounds and then the calibers right here is I think it's 23 no I think it's 38 foot pounds um yeah good luck uh, leave uh, comments and rate and subscribe.